right. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Looney Neos. Twitch, I know y'all uh, tired of me repeat myself. Anyway, y'all want to come watch us live? We uh, Link is in the description. We do this randomly. You know what so We just be vibing, chilling, reacting to all kinds of videos. Um, oh, like the video, please. Subscribe to the channel, man. I see y'all watching. I see y'all fucking with your boy. I need the love. I need the subscription. We we need 300. We're on the road to 500, man. I appreciate the love. Keep it going. All right. This video is for another one from Peas World. Uh, remember, y'all, if y'all want to watch the original video of these streams, of these, of these reactions, they're in the description. I don't need nobody coming after me saying I don't give credit when credit's due. And, oh, uh, some of y'all niggas that be commenting, saying I need to, like, uh, focus on uh, making my own comment. Nigga, this is my content. I'm a reaction channel now. And as long as y'all niggas watching, I'm going to keep reacting. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You say, it's good rated. They got it on my name. Yeah, like, to them, <laughs> to them, it's a it's a, a new day. Like, they watching this on Tuesday or Thursday or Saturday. I don't know what day. I don't know what day this is for them watching. But you know they gotta they gotta know what it is, and they got to subscribe to the channel. Give me them numbers, man. I don't know how y'all did it, how y'all got me to two hundred so fast. I love and appreciate y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. I love it. The YouTube fam lit over there, and uh, I gotta uh, I gotta shout my boy out. He be commenting, bro. Uh, like the niggas that be commenting, telling me to keep going. They fucking with me, bro. Um, Taylor, Taylor went on. I fuck with you, Taylor. I see you, bro. Like, uh, Dark Prince, that's my homie. I know he, he be wanting to be over here on Twitch, but the fact he, uh, watching me on YouTube, I love that. Uh, let me go, to, let me, let me, run, let me run through him real quick, bro. Let me run this on real quick. Hold on, 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 hold on. All right, all right, all right. Who we got here? Uh, shout out to Dark Prince Taylor. Got a shout out. Uh, one my boy. At? Damn, he the main one. That, uh, he like the the new shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm trying to scroll. I'm just scrolling through the damn com the comment notification thing. And uh. Damn, it's not showing me none of the, uh, I gotta go to the actual video. I'm doing this randomly. I didn't even think about this. Hold on. Let me just go to the actual video. How I get to the comments on this? Fuck it. Let's go to the actual video. I gotta shout him out for it's over with. Before I, before I can start and I can feel better about myself. If I can find the damn comments. What are the comments at? Why is YouTube not showing me the comments? There they go. Uh, what's his name? Yeechi? Uh, ye 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 chick? Whatever. Yeechi. You know who you are. You, you be commenting. You telling me more of those, I'm, I'm going to do it just for you, my guy. I got you. Or if you're a girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it for you, ma'am. But y'all know I call everybody bro and do the, everything else. Anyway, this video is from Peas World. And it's, um, men can't take hints anymore. Women realize they ruin dating. So, if y'all haven't realized, a lot of dudes don't shoot their shots no more. I get it. A lot of women just be looking ugly and they be throwed off. They not fucking with you. They just, I don't know, women are evil nowadays, bro. And they don't really realize how evil they've gotten. Like, majority. I know if not all women. You sweethearts out there, I see y'all. But now that I tell a lot of us not even going to talk to y'all because we just, it's just so many females, so many women out here that are just resting bitch face and they are right, rated. Right. Uh, there's so many women out here that just are quick and ready to be mean to you that even the sweet ones aren't getting talked to. 
you know what I'm saying? So it really is, so like, it, it really is reverse now. Like, you know, women, if you, you see a nice guy and you want him to say something to you, you probably feel have to like engage the conversation. Like if you give us the opening, like you talk to us first, nine, nine times out of 10, we gon' we gon' we gonna embrace the the interaction and go from there. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, it, women be so angry, bro. And then a lot of dudes, are, they definitely not gonna DM you. They don't want to be screenshotting out. Like women can't wait to put you on blast and because you some bummy, dusty somebody that they don't think of as a person, which is insane. Anyway, y'all go follow P's World too. He he a dope channel. I uh, I love uh watching his stuff. Uh no, my internet been acting up all night tonight. Let's try to get let's see if it'll run at that. I'm a mom of seven and I'm thirty three. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, Wait, seven? She said seven? Yeah, I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Ooh, wee! You got seven kids at the age of 33 is crazy. Okay. Please tell me you adopted some kids. Like them can't all seven of them can't be yours. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children? It's still capable of finding someone. First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this- Bro, I, bro, I be dating baby mamas. One kid is insane. Cause you gotta, the female has to allow you to, the female has to allow you to like come in their house and discipline that kid. And I don't whoop kids, first off. Like that ain't not, but like you going we gonna have authority, you gonna listen, you're not gonna be in grown folks business, X Y, y'all know all this stuff. You know, and I date baby mamas cause I'm an old nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? And I like kids, honestly. I really do. But not saying like I'm, I'm i'm not just going after just strictly baby mamas and stuff but that's a we're not gonna get into that but it's not for the week but you have to like have an understanding with the woman you're dating before you even engage in that stuff because you can fuck around with a baby mama but dating a baby mama is totally different because you have to take on that child and doing that with one kid is crazy Seven is fucking insane. This man is going to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. Right. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the with the father. No, no, hear Didn't me I out. Say Hold on. Go ahead and make it work with your baby daddy, okay? Seven kids, it's over for you. I keep it real. It's going to take us ah! two for the opposite to come in and take care of seven kids. You don't have to be a simp to date a, a a female with a kid what well, all right you you not a simp if you date one with a kid like it'd be some it'd be some pretty it'd be some amazing females that got one kid and shit life happens you know what i'm saying especially if they young it, 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 he, that was like the the baby daddy was they first and all this y'all just y'all know like the just the shit that just be happening 
But like once you start getting to the females, they got two and three kids. Nah, I, mean, I understand. Fellas, it's okay to date one girl with one kid. If she's qualified. That's just something I think about. Especially like you gotta look at stuff like if the, the daddy not there. Just like life happens. You know what I'm saying? Now, especially if but if the if the baby daddy ain't shit, see the the women that I've dated that had kids, the baby daddy was in their life. They just couldn't fucking date. And so the baby daddy, like, you know, he may be a bum to you, but if he being a father to his kid, he may not be a good father to his kid, but he in the kid's life. You know what I'm saying? Give it a shot. Try to see you. you you can see where it goes or whatever. If y'all work it out, y'all work it out. If y'all don't, y'all don't. But, like, if you dating a female and her day baby daddy not in the kid's life, that means she got bad choice. You got to you gotta judge her off the choice of her baby daddy. That makes sense? You got to judge her off how the baby daddy is. The baby daddy seemed like a nigga that just on top of his shit or they was just young and shit happens, but he doing his thing. And he in a child life and he ain't keeping up no drama and he let you, you know, do he he ain't trying to come back and forth and all that extra shit and they ain't secretly in love fucking off on each other and shit like that. And then, you know, you good, but seven, seven kids is crazy. It's, you know, the and then you saw how quick she was. I'm, I'm sorry to cut the video. But you saw how quick she was to say no to her baby daddy. Like, you, she, I'm sorry, you gotta work that out with your baby daddy. The fact that it's by one man, it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing because, uh, you know, people talk about soul ties and all this kind of shit, right? You're gonna tell me that this guy doesn't have some sort of hold over you? Seven kids? Yeah. You're telling me if he doesn't fix his ways, he doesn't start acting right, you won't take him back? Right. Seven kids? Go go ahead and uh go ahead and make it work because um yeah ain't no way. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know why I'm here. Um, she wants woman makes four hundred k a year and wants more child support. Um, an increase in child support, and I've been keeping our son for the past three years. All right, so that's why you're here. You. I, I, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Are you paying child support or are you paying child support? Uh, I'm paying child support. Okay, so that's why you're here. You're trying to get off child support. Uh, she wants an increase. He live with you. Okay, I'll ask her to make sense of that for me. But for now, how does your son? 10. 10 years old, lives with you. You take care of his expenses and everything like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Health insurance? Yes, Your Honor. You mind if I move over to her re please, really please. quick? Please. Because I, I need to make sense of why she filed this in court asking for an increase. Um, well, I mean, I, I do buy things for my son and it's expensive and... All right, so does other parents. They buy things for their children yes. and it is expensive. Yes. So why are you here? Um, well, I have a business to run and I just, I, I need his help in order to buy these things for our son. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your son lives with him. Yes. Now he does. Yes. Now, as in three years ago, three years. that's three not years. now. <laughs> no, it's not. Three years he's been living with him. Yes. So you want an increase in child support yes. to do what exactly? To help my son, to buy things for my son. Right. Um, you work, right? Yes. Where do you work? I have my own business. I'm a caterer. Caterer. How much are you making in your catering business? About 400. 400 what? Thousand. <sighs> you came here to waste my time. I make 40000 a year, Your Honor. You came here to get an increase in child support so that you can pay for your catering business. No, no. 
So why are you here? It's just for my for my son, of course. Right, but you you're maybe you're missing it. It's going like this, well, going over your head. Well, he stop paying the child support, and I don't think that he should stop paying. I think he should he pay should more. stop paying if the child has been living with. She hates him. Okay, she hates him. She wants him to suffer. <laughs> um, even if his suffering comes at the detriment of her son, she hates him more than she loves him. The fact that, the fact that she, the dude been paying child support and he lives with his daddy. He should have been stopped paying child support. The fact that she is still getting child support when he lives with his father women are women are evil bro women are fucked up in the head like for real like he said she hates him like that is that's fucked up bro Damn, okay because this makes absolutely no sense he's only making forty thousand a year you're making 400 you want more money from him firstly he should have bought you to the fact that like she even thought that through like she gonna take him to court and she makes four she makes half a million dollars a year even when you add in business expenses and all that stuff she probably walking away with like 300k bro the court because why is he paying child support when he has the kids that makes no sense and the fact that she even bought this to court thinking she'd win shows right. her privileged mindset it shows her privileged mindset that, th that she thought she could bring this to court and actually win. She should have to pay times four in what he's paying, okay? Times two for being stupid, okay? You should have never bought this to court. But then another times two because you make ten times what he makes. And she should pay back child support for the three years that he'd been living with him. Why do men not understand hints? Why do I have to spell every fucking thing out? Why can't you just... Because, first off, y'all are very angry all the time. Second off, y'all may like an outfit that somebody got on, but not like the dude. The dude come up and speak to you. She was like, oh, I'll just like your shirt. But, uh, like, y'all don't understand how fucked up y'all are. But you get upset when the top 2%, whoever dude you're looking at, ignores you. That's how you treat 98% of men out here. Just one simple little uh, hinting at this. Fucking understand what I'm trying to say. I don't want to have to spell everything out like I'm your mother. Yeah, so we'll be taking no hints in 2024. You've <laughs> ruined spontaneity. So you want me to get in trouble. That's what you want. That's what comes to my mind. You want me to get in trouble because you want me to take some sort of hints. Now all of a sudden I'm being creepy or I'm a predator or whatever the case is. Right. No. Okay. What comes to my mind is we've all been with women, right? And we're playing around and she's like, stop, stop, stop. You know what I do? I go ahead and stop. Okay. Yeah. There'll be no hint taken. Not around here. Thank you very much. Guy caught his girlfriend cheating, but instead of flipping out, he got a very public revenge. 23-year-old Dustin had been with his girlfriend for a few years, but everything changed when she cheated on him. On a regular Monday morning, Dustin went to work like usual. While he was at work, he felt something off because he texted his girlfriend and she hadn't texted him back in an hour. Usually it was no big deal, but Dustin felt something was wrong. So during Dustin's lunch break, he decided to go home to see if she was okay. When he got home and walked inside the house, what he saw was unexpected. Dustin saw his girlfriend in bed with another guy. But his reaction would shock you. Instead of Dustin flipping out and waking them up, he decided to do the total opposite. Dustin took out his phone and took a bunch of selfies with his cheating girlfriend. He then posted it on the internet and walked away. The next morning, when the girlfriend saw that everyone had seen the posts, she began freaking out and started blowing up Dustin's phone. But Dustin did not care and blocked her on everything. His immediate reaction was to expose his cheating girlfriend to the world and never speak to her. He handled this perfectly, okay? Like, I man. see so many situations when men be crashing out over these women, and I get it. You know, we're, we're human beings, we have emotions. Yeah, and on top of that, that's what they want, really. They want you to react and all this stuff and be like, see how you feel? 
that's how I feel when you didn't speak to me. And it's insane, the justification that they, they try to give you for cheating. But he a G for that. He a real nigga. Just post it. If your girlfriend's cheating, you find out with another man. Some men go into fight mode. Me personally, I'd never fight over a woman. I'm sorry. It's just never going to happen, okay? He handled this fantastically. He took the pictures, posted it, dipped, blocked her. Because what's there left to talk about? Unless you have things at her place or she has things at your place. As a matter of fact, if she has things at my place, I'm throwing it out the window. You can come pick it up off the porch, off the veranda, off the floor. Simple. Right. And you know she's be getting piped out because how have I come home from my lunch break and you're sleeping? Didn't we sleep last night? How are you tired again? It's going to be so excited. And <clears throat> yeah, so let's call him and let's do it. But I think, y'all, I'm just so excited. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And yes, y'all, I'm just so excited right now. Like, I cannot even stop smiling. Like, <gasps> First off, the fact that she posted this, it's like females just live off any type of drama, bro. Women want any type of drama in their life, bro. Any type of whatever. This shit is insane. Why would you post this, bro? It just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually kind of scared to tell him because what if his reaction is bad and I get embarrassed on YouTube? I mean, I highly doubt that. But let's call him right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> what if he don't answer? Hi. Hey. What you doing, my love? I'm paying some bills right now. Paying some bills? Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy because I'm so excited. I have to tell you something. What's up? But anyways, what you doing first? I ain't doing shit. Just... I can't even see your face. Can you put your face on the camera? I ain't, I ain't doing shit. I'm just chilling, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. About to pay some bills. You gonna pay my bills too? What you need paid this week? My phone bill, so I can call you every day. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> That's what you had, wasn't it? No. Why are you trying to shut the phone with me? No, I'm just saying. You said you had one or some shit. Oh, yeah. So, I have to tell you something. What's, what's going on? I know you're going to be excited. Like, I just know it. Like, here. Congratulations, who's this day? What you mean? That's not mine. What up, KJ? That's what you have to say, and I literally was just so excited to tell you about this, and that's what you gotta say? That's not mine. Bro, stop playing. You play so much, You're gonna, huh? you gonna have to handle that. What you mean? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. What? You gonna have to handle that, bro. What do you mean? Nah, bro. Like, Stop playing so much. You play all day, like for real. Like. Man, look, bro. What? You fucking playing right now, bro. That's not mine. The fact that cuz he's saying, bro. <laughs> bro, that's insane. Nah, nah, for real though. Like, what if he shoot blanks? Like, I'm not trying to justify his actions. Like, this kind of fucked up. But what if he shoot blanks and he know he shoot blanks and he can't have a kid and that finna backfire on her can't be mine and if it is mine you gonna have to handle that because i didn't i didn't, I didn't sign up for all of it you signed up when you nutted me what are you talking about no no <laughs> so you so you just nutted in girls for fun now i'm not saying all that i'm just saying Look, that, look, that can't, can't be, that can't be mine, bro. It is, though. Like, what are you talking about? Like, no, I'm just being real about, like, it, it can't be mine. So, and then, like, no, nah, bro, I'm straight on that, bro. I'm straight on that. You're going to have to get an abortion. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, you feel me? So... What? Don't even, I hope you ain't, don't, I hope you ain't calling people, telling them and shit, don't, don't even do that. 
Because I'm telling you right now, I'm at the night, so don't even play with me like that. Like, what are you talking about? You literally the one who got me pregnant, the one who let I mean, at least he being real, though. Some niggas just don't want to have a fucking kid. And that's how you become a single mom. And women to sit, women to sit here, go through all this, and still have the fucking baby and then get mad because he ain't shit. When he telling you he don't want no fucking child. He sitting there telling you he don't want it. Multiple times. You only got to tell me three times. Not even three times. I get the picture, bro. And if she decides to keep the baby, that's on her. That's on her. Better than me. When I, what you, I'm, I'm keeping it. I already made my decision. And the fact that she is, she posted this shit. It's like, why would you post this and embarrass yourself? Decision, like, Cause she wants the attention that come with it. Who are you talking about? Well, you need to figure out who baby that is, then. It's your baby. Who else baby? Who else do I see every fucking day? Whatever nigga you fucking with, because I didn't get you pregnant. So who did? If I'm only been messing with you? That's that's for you to find out. Shit, I ain't got shit to do with me. Good luck with that shit, though. Shit, I gotta go though. My shit about to die. Um, Bro, I'm not even mad at him, bro. Like, he told her what it was, bro. And she decided to keep it. And she posted this for the world to see. That's insane. Bro, what is... Why? Why? If there's a woman watching this... If there's a... <laughs> if there's a female watching this, please ex give me some kind of explanation in the comments as to why 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 this and why is she going to keep it when he told her that she didn't he didn't want the baby and now she's going to go through all this trial and tribulation as a single mother and all this shit and then she gonna be playing a victim card Putting it on him and, and all this, that, and the third when she can just delete the baby. Two hours later. So y'all literally had to stop the video, like, because my fucking ass just i just can't stop crying to the point my fucking eyes is literally turning red like i don't know if y'all can see it but my eyes is literally turning red and i've been trying to talk to this boy i've been blowing up his phone i've been texting him he act like he can't respond to nothing that i sent him like i'm just so confused why bad stuff always had to happen to me like i don't you confused he told you there's nothing to be confused about and you want sympathy and he's telling you you cannot and, and i don't understand that like this be the shit that makes them and then they want and they want that one dude to change to just come to this sense to be a father and be a family and he telling her and that's the shit i'm talking about like why do y'all go through that shit with niggas like that and you literally it is so early that you can just delete the baby yeah, it's gonna be traumatic. I know it's all this, this, whatever, but it's just like he's telling you. He's telling you. Nine out of ten, they probably didn't talk about family. They probably didn't talk about having a kid or whatnot. And you're continuing down this path. all people and I don't do nothing but just try to be positive try to be good to everybody and stuff like that but I just sent him a text message I'm gonna just show y'all so I can just hurry up and end the video because I didn't want to end the video like that look I always have to preference these videos by saying this could be fake okay I was looking through the comments everybody was saying it's real
Everybody will say it's real. I'm, I'm like, this, is this is, is this for real? Even the way he cut off the phone, it's like, I mean, who does that? Who just cuts who just cuts off the phone just like that after hearing some news like that? But Pookie and Ray Ray is different up here. I don't know. But let's say it's real. <laughs> okay. okay? Ray Ray. The way I think about having a baby is the same way I think about proposing to a woman. I would never just propose to a woman like if we haven't spoken about it. I, I don't care. There will be no there will be a element of surprise, like, oh my god, it's happening right now. But I will know you will say yes. There will be no chance of you saying no because we would have spoken about this, right? When you have a baby, you don't just have a baby randomly. Oh, surprise, baby. No, no. You speak about it. You make sure you're both on the same page. This is something we want to do. Yeah, we we, we, we both want to do this right now. Yeah, right now. Okay, boom. In situations like this, which even if it is fake, these situations actually happen in real life where you have a couple who are together. They may even love each other, but they ain't never spoke about no babies. Woman comes out, hey, I'm pregnant. Yay, guys like, uh, I don't want a baby. These are things you have to speak about. And just because you guys had unprotected sex, he is not thinking, yeah, I'm about to get her pregnant. I'm about to... When it comes to sex, there ain't no bad feeling in the room. Let's keep it real. He just, he just like the feeling. Exactly, like, ain't no way possible. She, she, they had that conversation. There's no way in hell they had that conversation. And some women think that just because you love, you love each other, that y'all just, you just ready to start a fucking family. Oh my god, no. No. The thing, they'll never find out that they're being cheated on. I'll just break up with them. No, I'm dead serious. They'll never f find out. You just said. So you'll cheat and then break up. Yeah. But you could just break up and then just, and then just fuck. fuck. You want. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But the cheating is like, it's a fantasy. So it's like, uh, this is exciting for me to cheating. cheat. Because it's actually cheating. If I break up with him and then I go f someone, it's just a rebound. No, I mean, I get it. I get Nala. it. You should get it. I mean, most Nala. people cheat. Everybody yes, has a lot of people Christ. cheat. Jesus Christ. Just break up with something mean. Just break up with a dude. Yeah. What? That's not mean. That's not mean. How is it mean <laughs> if they never find out about it? Cheat all the time. How are you cheating? In the wild, the most poisonous creatures exposes bright colors to warn their enemies to how poisonous they are. It's the same thing with women. The more they change their hair, the more poisonous. We already know how I feel about different color hair, okay? But generally speaking, when it comes to toxic people, there are always sides. People just ignore them for whatever reason. They may have other things that you like so you choose to ignore the things that you don't like and with men it's looks 99 percent of the time it's looks okay she got the colorful hair i guarantee if you look at her social media she's loosey goosey but there will be men who i mean there, there are some women why why you look at them and you go yeah they're attractive but why would you even get yourself into a relationship it i mean look how she's acting look how childish she is imagine being around that like 24 so it yeah no it is what it is youtube i'm sorry it's a longer video but uh i got my rants off but uh i said all i could say that shit uh had me heated for a little bit uh you still watching i appreciate y'all like comment subscribe down below on the road to 500 i need 300 more i need 200 more to 500 but i need to hit 300 God, i'm trying to do it let's see march let's do it by the end of april let's see if we can hit it by the end of april all right